Page 41, trap, trap, trap. On this lesson, they are introducing you to the time signature of 6 8. Because we've had 2 4, 3 4, and 4 4 in common time so far, and now it's 6 8. So the bottom number is an 8, not a 4. So we're not counting quarter notes anymore, now we're counting eighth notes, and there's six of them in a measure. Or I should say the same as six of them in a measure. Because if you look at the, on the end of the first line, in the right hand you have dotted half notes. Well, remember a dotted half note is the same as three quarter notes. Just memorize that, three quarter notes. And if it's three quarter notes, that's six eighth notes. So it's the whole measure, and it comes out. So let's look it over. It's about three lines long, treble and bass clef, one sharp in the key signature. We're in the key of G major now. So go do the scale on G major. This book has been suggesting you do the arpeggios also. Okay, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it if you want to try it, but just stick to the beginner portion of the arpeggio file. I have files on the arpeggios. Just do the beginner portion and make sure you do the accents and the wrists and the tremolo exercise. That, that'll do you the most good. Take it one hand at a time here. And the right hand starts here, and you're, so you're here. You're sort of here, but you're going to, you're going to move around some. So and remember the F sharps and the key signature. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And bring the second finger down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Second line. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's tied to an eighth note, so you're going to hold that down for seven counts and then rest for a whole bunch of beats. Then in the last two measures of the second line, when you come in, you get rest for the first two beats. So it's one, two, three, four. And you came down here, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three. Just reach up a little bit. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Now the thumb comes down. And like so. It rocks along very nicely. Six, eight time tends to rock along. In the left hand, you got the chords. It's a G chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, oh, this is fun. And then in the last two, you only get the bottom two notes. That's because the right hand is playing the D for you. You all don't, don't need it. Second line, again, it's an F sharp. Just let the little finger come down. One, two, three, four, six. In the middle of the line, let's go over, say, the fourth measure over, is it? It's here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. You just count it out. It all comes together, more or less. Mm -hmm. Put the heads together. Well, they're playing at the same time at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get the idea? Let's go over in the second line to the third measure. And then go from there. So it's here. These notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And see, both hands came up there on, in that next measure. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. There, the last measure of the second line. You have dotted quarter notes, both hands. That's the same as three eighth notes. So yeah, it works out. It doesn't matter what the time signature is. It always works out. A dotted half note is the same as three quarter notes. A dotted quarter note is the same as three eighth notes. See, it's always the same as three of whatever the next note down is. That's throughout. So a dotted quarter note is the same as three eighth notes. If an eighth note gets a count, that's three counts. So it's here. One, two, three, one, two. And then the left hand gets rest here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. Got another dotted quarter note. Hold it off for three counts. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah.
you go through and put the hands together. And then go back through it in the tough spots where you're having problems and get rid of the hesitations. Go as slow as you got to go, doesn't matter, but get rid of the hesitations. And once you're comfortable with that, you can try the articulation. These staccatos are short or hinging at the wrist. So I'm both hands here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. And then a two note slur. Down, up. Now here we get into it. Try if you can and play it accurately, which makes it a little more difficult actually. Second measure is staccato, not staccato anymore. See that note? That's not staccato. Rest. But you have a staccato in the left hand. See, that comes up, that stays down for the whole beat. So it's a one, two, three, four. Rest. That's what I'm after. Let's try and do that at first and we'll adjust it later. Two, three. Connect this. Then you can lift up if you want at the end of the line. It's a new phrase. They don't tell you that, but it is. You can, you can, well, you can read the words and see where the sentences are, or you can just feel it. So it's a musical thought. So it's a phrase. So you can lift up in the, in the right hand before you go to the second line. But for the last two measures of the first line, connect that in the right hand. Then lift up. Now this is not staccato. Now that is. In, in the last line there in the right hand is staccato. You hold it out for the full thing and the left hand it's almost all staccato. So what you sort of have, this is a good exercise in doing different things in the hands at the same time. You can also practice this when you do the scales. So when you're doing the G major scale, play one hand staccato and the other hand just disconnect it. Well you're playing both hands staccato but one is short staccato and one is long staccato is what it is. Hanging on to the right hand, to, to, I'm just disconnecting that. But the left hand is playing short, and then switch it around. Do the, this short. It's, it feels weird, but it's good practice at developing independence of the hands. Plus, you get a more excuse to practice the scale. Then we try the dynamics, which apply to the melody. For the most part, it's in the right hand. That left hand gets melody for a little bit. So loud, F is forte for loud. The left hand stay in the background, about a moderately soft. We want to hear the right hand. Now the left hand gets some melody. It needs to sound like one hand played all of it. thing is kind of loud. Well, once you get to know it and you get to feeling it, you may want to come down a little bit. You can change that a little. You're not going to play it all exactly loud. And then finally the speed. Well, Vivace. Well, good luck with Vivace. Vivace's fast. Vivace's really fast. It's not the fastest there is, but Vivace moves. So what we really want to do here, and this is very common in 6-8 time, is we want to feel it in two. So the natural accents the first beat of the measure, of course, is the strongest, but then in 6-8 time, the fourth beat gets one. So it's felt in two. So when you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, you're feeling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's really how it is. A lot of marches are written in 6-8, and you think you're playing triplets or something. No, they're written in 6-8. So we want to feel this in two. So it's sort of like a march. 
Hmm? But it has to be accurate. So don't go beyond that. So you're thinking, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Well, yes, that's moving. But if you feel it in two, one, two, that's not moving. That's kind of blah. So you may speed it up even more if you have to, because again, it's not the speed of the beat we're after, it's the feeling of the piece, the feel of it. One, two, three, four, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six. One, rest, rest, rest. Two. Two, three, two. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three.